What's going on YouTube? It's your boy Zay back one of the vid and today we got a whole bunch of NBA 2K24 updates for y'all. Uh, I won't lie, there's been a whole bunch of controversy lately that we'll get into later in this video and also a good amount of information we could talk about and dabble into so let's get it started man. First screenshot we got right here is Mike Wang tweeting out still our hard work on 2K24 but we'll talk soon. Wall small tidbit for now. Uh, again, this is nothing new right? Obviously y'all probably understand now that quick drops are gone in NBA 2K. But I kind of just want to talk about just kind of like the thought process of my opinion on this. So obviously quick drops are something that had to be taken care of regardless if it was quick drops themselves to get rid of as they did or taking off or affecting, you know, limitless takeoff. Now, I'm someone who is quick drops were never the problem. They were never the problem. If there were, it would have been complaining about years ago because that animation, that quick drop animation has been in the game since I want to say 2K11, right? It's always been in the game in some form that looks very similar and people don't understand that just because you know you can get the animation doesn't necessarily make it OP. Now what made it OP was very simple. It was limitless takeoff. And the reason why I say that is because limitless takeoff, unlike other 2Ks, right? If you have that badge on gold or silver, right? If you take off from a certain distance, regardless if someone's in front of you, you're still dunking the ball. Regardless if you got quick drops, if you got sidearms, if you got Russell Westbrook dunk package, whatever it is, you're getting that dunk animation and you're putting the ball through the hoop. So I don't understand people going crazy over this being like, finally they did it. But like quick drops were never the problem. It was limitless takeoff. It was the fact that you can go up on someone and dunk on somebody, even if they're in front of you, bumping you and all that stuff. That's the problem, right? And I'm a slasher. I'm a 6 9 slasher. Like I do dunks all the time, meter dunks, regular dunks. And I can tell y'all. Quick drops were never the problem. I could do the same. I could do the same dunks in traffic, right? With Russell Westbrook dunk package and straight arm uh, dunk packages. It's just it's just quick drops were nice because they were quick dunks. But I could find other ones to replace it too, because lim limitless takeoff is the problem. And I hope you know it's something that makes sense to y'all. So, on to our next topic, right? I wanted to talk about is uh, this tweet right here from J. Bridgeforth talking about NBA 2K24 will maybe have levels gone and the seasons will just be a battle pass. And in a new rep system, Uncle Demi might be hinting at something right here with this thumbnail. So, obviously, Uncle Demi is somebody that's been, you know, obviously playtesting the game, right? And talking to people over at 2K, so he might have more information than others. But uh, this tweet right here, uh, I thought it was very interesting because if 2K were to go the route of a battle pass, right? Where we pay for, you know, in-season battle pass, like most games nowadays, Fortnite, Apex, Call of Duty. Uh, I think it'd be a very bad idea. I think it'll be, a, you know, just an idea that's not necessary. I think what made 2K great was the abilities to do a lot without paying a lot. And we're all going to be paying for the game. We're going to be paying for VC, right? And all the other microtransactions too for my team as well. If you got any my team fans, I just don't get this. If they make the rewards worth it, I suppose this might be a good idea, but I can't imagine. I can only imagine 2K putting in the same rewards we've gotten for the last three years into a battle pass, so, quote unquote, and we pay a certain amount to, you know, to play the game and get the rewards, right? Like, I hope 2K does something where they make it worth it, right? So, for example, a thing that would make it really cool would be like, if we could get Jim Bat or Jim Rat in the battle pass, right? And if we can get, you know, certain, like, my career or my player related, you know, benefits, like attributes, uh, badges, uh, you know, anything that helps the my player you know be, make it better right obviously if you're paying for a battle pass right you should benefit from the rewards from the battle pass that's how i think of it at least because that's how most you know games are like call of duty you can unlock certain guns in the battle pass now granted you don't have to pay for that necessary but if you want to get it quicker right you could just spend some money and get it right away right and if the guns ends up being meta or really good then you got the gun very early in the season so hopefully they do something like that i think it'll be a very cool idea uh, again, I'm not a big fan of uh, Battle Pass because we're already paying a lot for this game and unless, like I said, they make it worth it, the rewards worth it and make them unique in a sense, then, you know, I guess it would be a good idea. But for now, I, I just can't see them, you know, benefiting off this in my eyes. So on to our next topic, right? Uh, there is a controversial video of Aiden Ross, right, talking about 2K and talking about how they are with the community. So I want to show you all this video. And I just want to get, you know, I just want to show y'all and see what y'all think. So here we go. Fucking game. It's so horrible. Yeah. You fucking scam your, your, your fucking, your, sorry, <laughs> your buyers every fucking year. Your pieces of shit. Fix your game, bro. People are trying to make careers out of this shit. Don't just do this shit for, for money, what you guys do. It's really wrong. Fuck you guys, you scam artists. And so as y'all can see, uh, Aiden Ross had a lot to say <laughs> regarding 2K, right? And how they feel for the uh, consumers or customers or buyers, right? Uh, 
again, I don't think, I think he did make a good point on one of those where he said that 2K hasn't made it harder for people to kind of make careers out of this. And the reason why I'm saying this is because, you know, 2K was really a pipeline for a lot of streamers, YouTubers, and any form of content creators to kind of blow up and, and then, you know, go on their other route, right? We see it all the time with Duke Dennis, Pretty Boy Fredo, Aiden Ross, right? A lot of these content creators who started off at 2K, right? And then end up being something else, you know? And it's it's awesome to see something like that, right? Because it's like, it makes you, if you're a content creator trying to make it out with 2K, it gives you a reason to do it, right? Because they did it, right? And if they can do it, you could do it as well. So it's definitely, you know, it's, it's kind of funny seeing uh, Aiden Ross talk, you know, about them like that. And, you know, Aiden Ross has never been somebody who has been very, you know, uh, supportive of a 2K, right? And supportive of the 2K agenda, right? That he's always been against it and talking bad about it. But, I mean, he kind of made a good point there. But for the most part, you know, he's kind of just bashing 2K for me. So, nothing really much else I got to say. But, you know, I definitely interesting topic, right? Definitely something that, you know, is very interesting. So, and on to our last topic I wanted to talk about is uh, this screenshot on Twitter from Uncle Demi. Now, this is a long message, so I'm just going to let y'all read this and just skim through it. But basically... What Uncle Demi's saying is that there's a lot of people who are trashing the game and talking bad about the game, but don't understand why they're not invited to things like, you know, the playtest the game and community day and things like that. And I just want to give my quick thoughts on this and say that, like, there's a difference between constructive criticism and just bashing the game, which y'all saw in the video with Aiden Ross, that's bashing the game. That's, you know, unacceptable to trying to get invited to those, you know, community things with 2K, right? But to talk about the game and say, you know, hey, this, this can work on this, or you can work on that, or the game's not in a good state right now, I don't think that's reason to not be invited to those things. And obviously there's a fine line in differences and there's a business, like Uncle Demi was saying, but a business should understand the difference between being bashful and being constructive, right? And you know, hopefully 2K allows content creators and our favorite YouTubers and stuff like that having got invited to get the chance to, right? Because everybody deserves an opportunity at some point. So just wanna throw that out to y'all. That's it, y'all. Let me know what y'all think. Make sure to like, comment, subscribe, man, and stay tuned for more content, man.